Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl, Star Flames. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification bell, and join the family. In this video, guys, we're going to talk about Candace Owens being slapped with a gag order by the Daily Wire. Let's talk about it, shall we? Now, it was about a month ago that I saw Candace Owens, you know, made a post on uh, Twitter. So basically, I'm just going to paraphrase it because when I saw the post, I took a screenshot because at the time I wanted to make a video about it, but you know, things happen and I forgot. So I'm going to scroll back to all my save info to see if I still have that screenshot and I'll include it in this video for you guys. So what I'm about to say, it's not verbatim to what she in it, to what she initially posted. I'm just paraphrasing to the best of my memory. Okay. So basically she made a post on Twitter saying that she has learned that, you know, there might be some smear campaigns going on against her and people trying to, you know, block her from moving forward. And she asked Twitter, who do they think that could be? And the people started replying to her post saying Ben Shapiro. Okay. Now, it was about a couple of days after maybe a week or so that she said that her and Ben Shapiro was supposed to have a debate so that they can settle their differences because evidently, allegedly, Ben Shapiro has been, you know, trying to smear her image and reputation. And she believes in having healthy, you know, discussion to, you know, I know their differences and she believed that a debate would have been the best way to go about doing so. But based on what I'm understanding, the debate was scheduled. She appeared, but Ben Shapiro did not show up. And then after that, it is said that she was slapped with that gag order. Now, according to reports about this cease and desist, I'm just going to go through the details. It says, Candace Owens, a, a conservative commentator and political activist, has reportedly been served a cease and desist letter by Daily Wire, a media company she co-founded with Ben Shapiro and Jeremy Boring. The letter allegedly accuses Owens of breaching her contract and fiduciary duties and demands that she stop using Daily Wire's trademarks and confidential information. According to reports, the dispute stems from Owens' decision to launch her own media company, Kenneth Owens Media, and her alleged plans to compete directly with Daily Wire. The situation has sparked a public feud between Owens and her former colleague with both sides trading accusation and barbs on social media. Now, they're also saying that the details of the cease and desist letter have not been publicly disclosed and the situation is still, you know, ongoing. So they're, they haven't resolved anything. There's no details regarding you know, why they want to her to cease and desist, exactly what is going on and all of that. No information whatsoever about that. But there are so many people who are just puzzled by the Daily Wire's action towards Candace Owens. They believe that the Daily Wire is being very harsh and very brutal to Candace Owens and some people believe that they just want to ruin her image her reputation because she's no longer working for them people believe that the Daily Wire knows that if Candace Owens starts her own media company it's going to completely ruin the Daily Wire and as such people are saying you know it's just jealousy but who knows all the details that is really going on we don't have all the details. And I believe that as time passes, we're going to get bits and pieces from Miss Candace Owens. But guys, I know that many of you, you know, want to know what's going on with her. We have done a few reaction videos about Candace Owens, sometimes agreeing, sometimes disagreeing. So I want to hear from you, though. What are your thoughts about 
what is going on between Candace Owens and the Daily Wire. While, while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up, share, stay safe, and see you guys later. Bye, guys.